Christ to the Nations and the Nations to the Church. Daily Devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us by Dr. Carol Geisler, based on the hymn of the same title, which is found on page 711 in the Lutheran Service Book, Sunday, April 25th, 2021. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Much we need your tender care. In your pleasant pastures, feed us. For our use, your fold prepare. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have bought us, we are yours. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have bought us, we are yours. You've promised to receive us, poor and sinful though we be. You have mercy to relieve us, grace to cleanse and power to free. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, early let us turn to you. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, early let us turn to you. Our hymn is gentle and comforting. It speaks of pleasant pastures and tender care. What could be disagreeable about such things? Yet in our fallen, sinful nature, there is much here to which we might object. We like to think of ourselves as independent. We take pride in being self-sufficient. Maybe you don't care for the idea of being bought or owned. Maybe you don't want any tender care. Called to repentance by the Word of God, you and I can see ourselves more clearly. We can admit we do need our shepherd's tender care, that we have been bought with a price, the precious blood of Jesus our Savior. The Good Shepherd laid down his life to make us his own. And on the first Easter morning, he took up his life again. Our crucified and risen shepherd ascended to reign in glory at the Father's right hand, and he's preparing a fold to welcome his flock into his eternal presence. Even now, you and I enjoy the pleasant pastures of our shepherd's tender care. We're fed, we're nourished by his word, by his body and blood and his holy supper. As our hymn reminds us, We're poor and sinful. Even though we are loved and enjoy the shepherd's care, we're still inclined to exercise our self-sufficient pride, still inclined to wander from his pleasant pastures. You may find yourself today lost and in trouble. You know you need help, but you may have some doubts. After all, you did choose to wander. Are you sure that your shepherd still wants you? The hymn assures you assures me that the shepherd has promised to receive us, promised to receive us. This is welcome news. And it echoes the invitation in God's word through the prophet Joel, chapter 2, verse 13. The prophet says, Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. Jesus, our shepherd, loves you, and he wants to keep you close to himself. So we repent of our sinful, wandering ways, and he reaches out in mercy to relieve us, lifting away the burden of our sin and shame. By his mighty, gracious power, he cleanses us, sets us free to live in the safety of his pleasant pastures, surrounded by his love. If you should become forgetful, Scripture reminds you to return to the shepherd today if you hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts, as it says in Hebrews chapter 3. So our hymn echoes that reminder. It's a call to keep the shepherd in sight. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, early let us turn to you. Pray with me. Jesus, my shepherd, keep me close in your tender care. Amen. Amen.